All right, welcome everyone. We've got manager Bud Black here. If you have questions for Bud, go ahead and raise your hands and we'll get started on our pregame. Bud, sorry. Yeah. Hey buddy, just um, what do you like about Colton Welker um, and how do you evaluate uh, where he's at right now? You know, Danielle, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna make, uh, anyhow, no, uh, I think with, with Colton, I think the, the thing for us as a coaching staff is, you know, we've seen him now in major league camp for three years. So we have a, we have an understanding of, uh, of who he is as a player uh, where he's come from uh, as a minor leaguer to where he is now. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a foundation of knowledge uh, of Colton from our time together in the spring. And watching him uh, over the last couple of seasons from afar uh, through our player development staff, uh, Arizona Fall League, uh, you know, we saw Colton. And, we, and we've just seen the development of the player. So there's a, uh, there's a maturity that has taken place. Uh, there's a skill level that has improved. Uh, I think the, you know, the, the bat has sort of been the, the, the trademark of Colton, uh, his hit ability uh, to, to keep it simple. There's been uh, a minor league hitter in there uh, hitting over 300 uh, on base percentage, a uh, little bit of OPS throughout the minors, and, uh, you know, a, a potential offensive player at a, at a corner position. Uh, we've seen an improvement in his defense, uh, both at first and third, a commitment to uh, be more fundamentally sound, uh, improve his footwork, uh, improve his first step quickness, all the things you look for and, in, 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 you know, the, the improvement and development of a player. So, uh, I mean, I know that's sort of a lengthy answer to, you know, to the question, but that is sort of it in a nutshell. Um, and I, I don't exactly know what the rules are when a player is suspended, but were you guys keeping an eye on him, telling him things he should be working on? How did that uh, work? Yeah, I, I mean, there were some there were some restrictions for sure, but, uh, just on where he could be and what he could do as far as you know getting into games and where those games were to be played and whether they have, they were official league games, whether uh, A ball, Double A, Triple A, all those things came into play. But, you know, we kept our eye on him for sure. I mean, there was, uh, you know, there was, uh, you know, there were times when, you know, our position, our, our player development staff were with Colton, uh, you know, somewhere along the line. It could have been, you know, in, in Arizona, you know, obviously we had player development people in Spokane and Albuquerque, but our, our eyes were on him. And there were, you know, some, you uh, you know, baseball requirements from our strength and conditioning people uh, for him to do some workouts that uh, were monitored. So uh, he was just, he wasn't out of sight, out of mind for sure. And it, it seems like when he came back from a suspension, he kind of picked right off, right up where he was um, before then coming out of spring training. Um, are you impressed when you see a guy who kind of has to train on their own for that long, be able to just come back just as strong as he was before? Well, I, I, I sort of want to say no, uh, because that's what a professional athlete should do. So it's not surprising that athletes coming back are ready to go, especially young players, especially coming off a situation that he was coming off of. So uh, that's how it should be. Uh, and I think if you ask a player, he'd say, no, that's not impressive. That's what I should be doing. So uh, that was the expectation that he was to be ready based on uh, his situation. Okay. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Mark Stout. Hi, buddy. Uh, what has made Senza uh, so good in his last few starts? What, what particulars? I think fastball command uh, and, uh, you know, really good break and slider the, the last couple starts. Uh, mixing in the curveball, uh, location more than anything. But... Uh, Pinpoint one thing, probably a more consistent slider over the last couple starts. But, you know, we've seen the marked improvement in that over this year anyway. But uh, fastball command uh, strikes and uh, the slider's been good. And what do you got on the uh, the Ranger guy pitching against you? The, uh, uh, good arm. Good, I mean, good fastball. Uh, pitches a lot with the fastball. You're going to see a lot of fastballs to 
uh, our hitters tonight, uh, and you're going to see a lot of inside fastballs, according to the scouting report. We'll see. I mean, you know, you got to be ready for anything. Uh, and, you know, pitchers can't be – and pitchers should be unpredictable. But, uh, you know, the numbers tell us to look for the fastball inside, and it's a, you know, it's a lively fastball. Thank you, bud. Yeah, Mark. Do we have any more questions for Buddy this afternoon? We'll go to Paul. Can you hear me this time? Gotcha. All right, there we go. I switched my phone. You, un so you unmuted yourself. Yeah, I switched my phone. I don't know what's going on the computer. Um, just on Lambert, any idea uh, his next rehab start and what the plan might be for him uh, these final few weeks? Uh, tomorrow. Uh, in uh, in the Eastern, well, is it called the Eastern League anymore? I don't think so. I think it's just called uh, Double A East or uh, whatever. Uh, that'll be tomorrow uh, for Peter. And then, uh, you know, if that, uh, you know, if that, if that start uh, proves to be a solid one, uh, he'll get another one. I think he's uh, planning on popping over here to Philadelphia, uh, so we can put our eyes on him, uh, have our medical staff. Uh, put our eyes on him, uh, come back here with the coaches, and then, uh, you know, we'll see, but he'll probably get another uh, minor league start, maybe another two minor league starts, maybe another three minor league starts. We'll, we'll assess all that, but he's Thank doing you. fine. He's doing fine physically. Great. Thank you.